video is on the four main ways you can do an ankle fusion and to help demonstrate that I'm going to draw an ankle just here on the left. I'm going to mark out the anatomy again. So the big bone there is the tibia. The bone next to it is the fibula. It takes about an eighth of your weight. And then the bone below those two bones is called the talus. It's a square type bone just there. And underneath that is your heel bone. And the two bones that are involved in the ankle fusion are the tibia bone and the talus. So the square and the shin bone. Um, and we're just going to draw that on a diagram. Just here you can see there that there's no longer a gap between the talus and the tibia marked there in the red arrow. And that means those two bones are brought together and the bone basically crosses the area and those two bones become one. Now just to demonstrate that further, the, um, the photo on the left there is cartilage looking at the ankle from the direction of the eyes into the into the front there. And so that pearly stuff that you see on the diagram there is going to have to be removed on the left, so where the arrow is. That has to go in order to allow the bone to be exposed so that the bone crosses the tibia and the talus so that there is no longer a gap there and those two bones become one. Now the first way of actually doing this type of operation is something called a fibula osteotomy method and it's probably the most common. And what that means is actually taking part of the fibula off in order to gain access to the joint so that the cartilage can be removed. And we can see that in the left diagram there, the fibula, fibula um, end has been removed and that allows access to the joint where the arrow is there. And then screws are placed across the tibia and the talus in order to make them one bone. Uh, now to demonstrate that better, here's the diagram again, but this is what it looks like on an x-ray. So you can see part of the fibula is missing there, although that diagram does have an extra screw. Now um, the cuts for this procedure, one's on the little toe side of the ankle and then another one over the big toe side of the ankle at the front, as you see on the diagram on the right. The second way of doing this procedure is something called an arthroscopic ankle fusion, which means putting a camera into the ankle and burring away the cartilage so that the wounds are pretty small. The same bones are fused as we saw in the um, previous method, it's just the way of doing it that's changed in order to have smaller cuts. So you can see here the cuts are much smaller, there's two sort of one centimeter cuts at the front, um, and sometimes it's, it's technically a more challenging procedure for the surgeon. Um, once again we saw the diagram on the left here which shows the cartilage, I'm just going to mark out sequentially what that corresponds to on the diagram. So that's the tibia where we marked there. Um, and then the next one we're going to mark is the talus. So the talus is a square bone. And then the next one is the fibula bone. So the picture on the left is actually looking at the ankle from the front. And the fibula is just there. And we're going to mark it on that on that picture just there. So all those white pearly areas are going to have to be removed with something called a burr, which is at the bottom of the page there. And that takes away that cartilage. And that means you have a fairly small wound. But the fixation or the screws that we put in are exactly the same. But what you'll notice is that the fibula remains intact, which is different to the uh, procedure we previously described. And that is an advantage. The wounds are smaller and the fibula is left intact. Now the third method is something called an anterior ankle fusion. And that involves a cut right over the front, over the ankle, mostly over the center. And means we're going to try and avoid nerves and arteries on our way into the ankle. So the method of getting there is different. Um, usually it's a plate and screws rather than screws itself put into the ankle and this is what it looks like from the front. If you look at it from the side, this is what it looks like from the side. There's a plate, big bulky plate going over the front there. Um, but often it's a very solid construct and very solid fusion and works actually very well. It's just a little bit harder to get into the ankle because you've got to go near some dangerous structures. The fourth method of getting in there is something called a posterior ankle fusion and it's the least likely to be used. It's really only um, used in pa patients that have got some sort of issue with the wound or, or problems at the front of the ankle. And as you can see there, there's a cut over the back. Now this plate here that we can see on the left is at the back, and this is looking at it from the side. The plate there is sitting right at the back of the ankle, and that's how it would be held together. So you can see that the bones that we fuse are the same in all four approaches, but it's just the way of getting there that's different. I hope you enjoyed this video, so please take a look at our other video here on, on ankle fusion. And alternatively, please subscribe to the Foot and Ankle Orthopedic Surgeon. We really appreciate you listening, and thanks once again.